Good morning, genius. Listen, today I want to tell you what the word genius means so you can understand it and you can operate in that vein. I know how it is when you need to get your creative juices flowing and it feels like you're at a standstill or that your creativity has been blocked. So first off, we stop the block, we bind the block in the name of Jesus. And we pray right now that he would cause you to work in the same creative power that it talks about in the book of Genesis, the same creative power that we see in the word of God, we pray that you are operating in genius. The word genius means exceptional intellectual or creative power or other natural ability. Natural ability. It comes from God above. It doesn't come from anywhere else. It comes from God. It comes from our source, which is God and Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so I just decree over your life that you are operating in genius. That word there, another word for it is brilliant or great intelligence, great intellect, great ability, cleverness, brains, erudition, wisdom, artistry, flair, wit, talent, gift, aptitude, facility, knack, technique, touch, bent, ability, expertise, capacity, power, power in Jesus Christ, come on, endowment, strength, strong point, dexterity, dexterity, skill, virtuosity in the name of Jesus. And so we pray that you are operating intellectually with your brain beyond your capacity, with a supernatural brain. And some people may not understand it, but I pray that you're operating in a supernatural vein because you need the power of God to go forward into this. Scripture tells us, he says, see, I have called by name. We're in Exodus 31, 1 through 6. Hallelujah. And it reads, the Lord said to Moses, see, I have called by name Bezael, the son of Ure, the son of Ur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the spirit of God, with ability and intelligence, with knowledge and craftsmanship to devise artistic designs, to work in gold, silver and bronze, in cutting stones for setting and carving wood to work in every craft. And behold, I have appointed him with Oliad. I have appointed him with only at it and I have given to all able men the ability that they may make all that I commanded you. In other words, right there, he's talking about that he will put under him individuals who have the same type of heart. And so I pray that the Lord would give you the creative know-how, the creative understanding, and then he will give you the individuals to partner with you. Hallelujah. To partner with you on whatever it is that you're trying to do. And so we thank God for endowing you with, with understanding and creativity like never before. We thank him that he will lay it out to you, that he will drop it to you, that the portals of heaven will open, that they will drop down on you so strongly that you won't know what to do. We thank him for the creativity, the creative ability, and that you will be working artistically like never before, that you will work in that way, in that manner for this entire decade, that it will be more on you than has ever been. It will be a mantle of creativity and you will find out, hallelujah, that it will route your destiny. You will find out that it will route your destiny. In Jesus' name, we speak it, we call it to be so. Amen and amen.